what's up guys? Anna with Pro Watercraft here. We have a sweet vintage ski here in the shop from a customer today. And I'm gonna go over everything that's on this ski that we offer for the vintage 440 and 550 stand-up jet ski. different front sponson options. The performance front sponson is kind of our shredder carver sponson. It's going to allow for a little bit more lean angle than our other option, which is going to be our 36 inch front sponson with the upper lip. What that upper lip is going to do is a lot more stability oriented than this sponson. Water is going to get up underneath here. When you start leaning past that point of no return, when you can't get the ski to come back up, you know you're going in the water, water is going to get up underneath there and help you right the ski. We generally recommend this for a lot of like beginner, intermediate riders, or if you're putting together a ski for your girlfriend, your buddies to ride, definitely recommend a set of these. If you're more of a buoy basher, you're a carver, you're a shredder, you're looking for more speed, faster corners, definitely recommend the performance front sponsons. In the back of the ski, you'll see we have our XL rear sponsons. These have been a huge seller this year. These are gonna help a lot with your straight line stability, uh, especially like between the buoys. Uh, definitely a lot more straight, st straight line stability as well as you're going to get a lot more rear grip as well. Uh, generally, we recommend partnering these with the performance fronts. If you're looking to get the straight line stability, you get a lot less of the, the dreaded shine walking. It's going to straighten that out a lot at top speed. And then when you go into the turns, when you enter the turns, you don't have to worry so much about the ski sliding out. It's going to help keep it planted in the back. All right, so working our way to the back of the ski, there's a lot going on here. Uh, first and foremost, we have our hole extensions, our ride plate, and our turn nozzle. The hole extensions and the ride plate are the best combo to get the most rear grip out of the ski. This is going to give a lot more surface area for the water to travel across as you're going through the turn. It's going to keep the back end of the ski totally locked down so you don't have to worry about sliding out. Especially if you couple it with those XL rear sponsons I was talking about. This is everything you need to keep the back end of that ski totally locked down. Then when it comes to turn nozzle, another really big seller for us. Uh, this is going to get you two different things. It's going to get you a little boost of performance. You're going to get a little bit more speed out of it because it's a little more efficient on the, the uh, inside of the design of the nozzle over stock, but it's also going to get you better turning. Uh, a lot of times when you add like a, a steering plate or something like that, you tweak the steering a little bit. It's going to be a lot quirkier up in the steering. Um, your steering will be a little more fidgety, a little more sensitive. This is going to give you a better turning radius, better steering without the quirkiness. So we definitely recommend these if you're looking to get better steering and a little bit of power. All right, so these two upgrades are really hard to miss. Not only do they have function, they look really awesome. First and foremost, we have our 550 Force hood. It's going to be a lot lighter than the stock hood, but it also looks awesome. It has additional air intakes as well. Definitely want to get some more air to that motor. And then on top, we have our super popular Pro Light handle pole. Uh, these come in white and black. They're going to be a lot lighter than stock, and they're also a little bit shorter than stock to help get your body position further forward on the ski. All right, so last but certainly not least is one of our most popular, most cost-effective upgrades, our pump tunnel stuffer. We make this for the vintage ski as well as a bunch of other models. Uh, the easiest way to explain what this does is imagine taking your thumb and putting it over the end of a garden hose. It's going to make uh, the water flow to your pump so much more efficient. Um, very easy to install. All you need is some silicone, the pump stuffer. You're going to silicone it up into the pump tunnel and you should see gains from anywhere from one to two miles per hour on your top end. You should see a lot better drive and straightaways and some better hookup to your pump tunnel and your intake. 
As far as the intake grade goes, we get a lot of people asking what kind of intake grade do we recommend. Uh, generally, we kind of steer people away from the top loader, mainly because the top loader and the pump stuffer are trying to do the same thing, and sometimes that can result in poor performance because they're fighting each other. So generally something with shorter scoops um, or no scoops at all, your stock intake rate, you should still see some great performance out of it, or something with smaller scoops. Um, that comboed with our pump stuffer is one of the best ways to get some quick top end out of your scheme.